Dr. Matthews, she, she has a way of, of making the class more about the students than about her. Like she, she clearly kind of tries to point us in certain directions to, to help us see things that maybe we might have missed, but really wants to facilitate our own ideas and discussion. Her ability to just be herself lets everyone else feel comfortable to say and share those insights that they bring to class. She personally knows each one of her students and makes, makes them feel like a part of that learning community. With Dr. Matthews, you obviously recognize her uh, level of intelligence and schooling and things like that, but she doesn't, um, she, she's a regular person when she's talking to you. I like her teaching style a little bit more than some other professors who say, will kind of just lecture at you. Um, I like to get in a discussion because that's the best way that I've found that I learn. When I come out of a class, when we've had a lively conversation, I feel quickened as a person and as an intellect. And because of the things that we talk about here in the English department and in my classes and in the humanities, I feel like teaching and my interaction with students teaches me about what it means to learn how to love people. She's not afraid to, to dive right into some of like the difficult social issues that we face in America and I just love that we can talk about it in an appropriate gospel-centered way. One thing I really love is we, we sit in a circle and it's very much um, just, I mean, she sits in the circle with us. She doesn't stand up there and lecture at us. It's very, you know, it's very personal. She wants to hear what we have to say. She's a part of the discussion. We don't raise hands. We just kind of converse together as a group. Teaching is that which makes my mind go. It's that which makes my heart go. It's that which, you know, sets the hair on my neck on edge sometimes because it helps extend me as a person. She's always respectful of your ideas um, and she's she creates an atmosphere within her classroom that um, no matter what another student is saying, if I disagree or agree, it is done with respect, it's done with scholarship, and it's done with a, a real desire to, to learn and engage. I love being a scholar, but my love of being a scholar is so intimately tied to being a teacher because first and foremost, we are readers and we're learners, and I'm perpetually learning in the classroom from amazing people who, so many of them keep in touch with me, and I can learn about what they're doing and how they're doing good, good things in this world. And that motivates me to want to do good, good things too.